In 2016, HoloLens started the mixed reality revolution by bringing intelligence to the edge of computing. Say hello to HoloLens 2. It's fantastic to be back at MWC. And I was reflecting, it was just four years ago that we introduced HoloLens. This era of the intelligent cloud and intelligent edge is upon us. It's being driven by three massive monumental shifts. First is that computing is no longer confined to a device or even a single data center. The second is AI. And the third shift is about putting people at the center instead of the device. I'm clear-eyed about the unintended consequences of these advances. That's why we believe privacy is a fundamental human right. That's why we prioritize cybersecurity, not just for the largest of companies. And that's why we build AI responsibly, taking a principled approach and asking the difficult questions, like not what computers can do, but what computers should do. Satya painted a picture of the possibilities born of the intelligent cloud and intelligent edge experiences. Now, another aspect of the intelligent cloud and the intelligent edge solutions is the ability to bring together the digital and the physical world. It was nearly a decade ago that we released Microsoft Connect with a depth sensor that allowed computers to better understand the real world. And while it started in gaming, Microsoft Connect was used in solutions spanning education, healthcare, and science. Today, I'm incredibly proud to announce Microsoft Azure Connect, a new intelligent edge device that enables developers to create a wide range of AI-powered experiences. We brought together our best-in-class depth sensor that is one of the most advanced pieces of technology we have ever shipped. And then we combined it with a high-def camera and a spatial microphone array. Azure Connect can be used individually or works together to provide a panoramic understanding of the environment. Azure Connect costs $399, and developers can pre-order it today. Since 2008, Connect was the beginning of the answer and the first intelligent device to enter our homes. And the experience of being able to just reach out into space and play made us realize just how confining living life through flat, three-dimensional screens really is. It drove us to create Microsoft HoloLens, the first holographic computer. These mixed reality experiences have been used by hundreds of thousands of people, changing the way we work, communicate, learn, and play. Say hello to HoloLens 2. On behalf of the entire global mixed reality community who has been with us every step of this journey, I'm extremely proud to introduce to all of you HoloLens 2. 47 pixels per degree of sight is an important number to remember. Now, this is important because this is what allows us to read a point font on a holographic website. HoloLens 1 is the only headset in the industry capable of displaying 47 pixels per degree of sight. And today, I'm incredibly proud to announce that with HoloLens 2, we more than doubled our field of view while maintaining 47 pixels per degree of sight on HoloLens. This is the equivalent of moving from a 720p television to a 2K television for each of your eyes. We invented an industry-defining MEMS display. Now, these are the smallest and most power-efficient 2K displays in existence. We 3D scans the heads of thousands of people across a wide range of ages, genders, and ethnicities. And we then use this data to create a device that once again sets the highest bar for both ergonomics as well as comfort, whether you wear glasses or not. Now, as a result of these and hundreds of other changes, I'm incredibly proud that with HoloLens 2, we more than tripled the comfort of the device. I am incredibly excited to be here. With Windows Hello and RS Syndication, the HoloLens 2 is actually signing me in as I put on my device. Look at this, fully articulated hand tracking. 
And as I move my hands around, the HoloLens 2 is actually calibrating to my unique hand size. Look at the way that the hologram is responding to my hand, almost inviting me to touch it. And in fact, I can just grab this corner to resize it. Or I can rotate it. Or move it. That's right. We are touching holograms. Now, it's a little big, so let me just use two hands here to make it smaller, and then rotate it so you can see. There we go. And then let me put it down here in your space shell, maybe make it a bit smaller. Yeah, that's nice. Let me just call it over with my voice. Follow me. So let me just open up that start menu here, and then place the app, and then launch it. So now we're actually exiting my mixed reality home and going into an immersive experience. But notice that that browser that I had actually followed me in. We spent years exploring and refining interactions for HoloLens 2. And the playground is just a tiny sampling of the many prototypes that we built, tested, and learned from. The interaction that really took home the cake, though, was this pinch slider. The way that works is you just pinch it and move it wherever you want. And what we found was that people really liked that tactile sensation of their fingers touching as they grabbed and then released. And across the board, for all interactions, the audio and visual feedback as you grab, move, and then release were all really critical for making this experience feel connected. I just love the way these move and the sounds they play when I press them. It's great. Or I can play the keys one at a time. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. I just love the way that it's following my hand around. I've got to tell the team, they've done a great job. That's right. HoloLens 2 has eye tracking. So I could just look over to this browser here and look at the bottom of the screen to scroll it, and then send my message. Start dictation. The hummingbird looks great! Exclamation mark. And today, I am proud to announce that with HoloLens 2, we will launch with a suite of solutions from Microsoft, and a suite of solutions from our amazing industry partners. Solutions ranging from healthcare to architecture to manufacturing and many, many more. HoloLens 2 is ready to provide professionals immediate time to value. Guides will help workers get up to speed faster on difficult tasks by placing step-by-step -step instructions right where the work is happening. It is so exciting to be here with Microsoft on our shared mission to elevate human collaboration. Today, companies tackling the world's biggest problems are increasingly spread across the world, and the HoloLens lets us work together as if we were standing next to each other face to face. Hi, Jenna. Hi, Anand. Hey, everyone. It's great to be here on stage holographically. I can see your lifelike avatar, which we generate in seconds from a 2D photo, and we can walk around the stage with spatial audio. So at Mattel, we're undergoing a massive digital transformation. It's touching all aspects of our business. This includes the way that we're using technology to design and to develop our products. For instance, guys, take a look at this wheel clearance here. Oh, yeah. I can see that's going to be a problem. So I can pull out my spatial phone app and write a quick note, and then just hit send. And it becomes a digital sticky note, which I can just grab and stick right onto the fire truck so that we can have engineering revise this later. OK, guys, let's come up with uh, some ideas for a line of aquatic toys. Yeah. How about sea turtles? Oh, that's really cool. Let's try sharks. I just pull up those photos and hit send. And they're instantly transformed into this digital environment. Nice drawings. Now, this entire room we've created is a persistent digital object that anyone can access or contribute to at any time. We wanted our partners to be able to customize HoloLens so that their customers could get the best and most comfortable experience immediately. And today, I am proud to announce the HoloLens customization program. Trimble is a market leader in innovative digital technologies that transform the way the world works. So we're excited to be here today to announce the Trimble XR10 with HoloLens 2. This is the first HoloLens 2 enabled solution in the world for frontline workers in environments requiring certified hard hat safety or personal protection equipment. 
We are enabling developers to combine the power of HoloLens with the power of Azure by introducing a suite of mixed reality services. The first service we are announcing is Spatial Anchors, a fully cross-platform service that supports AR Kit, AR Core, and of course, HoloLens. Put simply, this will enable the birth of the internet of holograms. The second service we're announcing today is remote rendering. This service will enable developers to use the power of Azure to directly stream high polygon content with no decimation to HoloLens. By leveraging the Azure Spatial Anchor service within Vuforia Studio and Vue, we can let Maria seamlessly join in Alex's experience. Maria can simply take out her iPad and launch Vuforia Vue. Once Maria points her iPad at the same location where Alex placed the blower, she can participate in the mixed reality experience, making it far more interactive and collaborative. Alex, let's simulate a gear failure mode. Uh-oh, I see their gear vibration went down, and I have here threshold exceeded. Please inspect. Let's go ahead and select that. So Maria chose to drive the experience from her iPad because it allowed her to present various training scenarios through a 2D touch interface, while Alex chose to view the experience in a HoloLens tool because he wanted a hands-free experience and the ability to view and interact with the CAD model. We still need to address one key barrier with technology today, closed ecosystems. As members of the mixed reality community, we want the future to be open. Principle number one, we believe in an open App Store model. Now, of course, we'll have Microsoft Store, but developers will have the freedom to create their own stores as first-class citizens in our experience. We believe in an open web browsing model. And today, I am proud to announce that Firefox will be joining us with a web browsing experience native on HoloLens. Epic Games and Microsoft have been close partners for more than 25 years. So Epic will fully support Microsoft's HoloLens strategy now and for the long term. So we're starting with the Unreal Engine. HoloLens support is up and running now and coming to all developers in May. And on HoloLens.com, you can pre-order HoloLens 2. Bundles start at just $125 per month. Or pre-order the standalone HoloLens 2 Enterprise Edition. What was $5,000 is now $3,500. The pieces are now in place. And I hope the path is now clear for the third wave of computing.